All right, I think it's safe to say I definitely need a makeover today. I literally don't remember the last time I washed my hair or did my makeup now that I'm thinking about it. And I just wanna look like a 90s, you know, supermodel, that iconic 90s supermodel vibes. Voluminous, shiny, glow up vibes for the hair. Chocolatey, smoky eye, matte skin, and a 90s lip. And then I picked out some sick outfits that I'm so excited about to show you guys. 95 all the way. Edson's actually gonna come over and help me achieve the hair look because I just need a little transformation today. I'm actually partnering up with Redken on this video, by the way, so you'll see their newest products in action once we do the hair. But I'm gonna go shower, <laughs> get this hair clean so it's not a little grease ball anymore, and let's do this. Iconic 90s supermodel vibes. All right, guys, guess who's here? <laughs> we're ready. I'm washed. I'm ready to go. She's okay. Ready. I think we're going to start with the new oil for all from Redken. Really bomb oil. And you apply it when your hair is damp, which is why I washed mine and got it ready to go. Um, and it's great because it's like super lightweight, but it makes my hair feel nice and moisturized and obviously shiny and just gives me that, like, you know, supermodel vibe and this oil acts as a thermal protectant so it's mm. great for people with colored hair that definitely wants to maintain their hair nice strong and healthy and it is suitable for all hair types so <laughs> it doesn't discriminate oh so. it also speeds up the time of the blowout which i oh, thought yeah. was super cool because i'm always running late so like that's something that i always look out literally for literally always I'm running late literally literally always running late so start off with your hair down put a little bit of that oil in like so, kind of give me a little oh. three pumps. <laughs> yes, we love that. Yes. We're using gloves because we're extra sanitary today. You want to focus on your ends. Her bangs always get the most heat attention. All right, so we're going to be clipping you into about five sections, doing just a nice bouncy blowout. Wow, look at how shiny she is. Shiny and new. <laughs> oh. Ooh, look at the shine. It is shiny, 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 yeah. Ooh. And bouncy and lightweight. <laughs> it's really lightweight. I'm very airy. Very airy. Weight. Very airy. Um, so what's next? We're gonna add in some extensions to really get like the full transformation going. You know, I love my little long hair rocks moment. Are you ready? I'm so ready. So Look, weird. I have a little bang moment. Very <laughs> Audrey Hepburn. So we're gonna be starting to put in these extensions. Redkin has a dry texture spray. I'm gonna be spraying this while we tease and clip these little bad boys in. Gonna be doing some curls with a two inch curling iron. Ta da! Okay, makeup time. So, as you guys know, I'm always kind of racing the sun here. So, today we're doing a little bit more. We're gonna do fast forward speed, but I'll talk you guys through, you know, the main points. But we're gonna start off with getting that matte 90 skin. So I'm starting off with Smashbox Original Photo Finish. Smooth and blur primer to make a nice little base. All right, just gonna lightly fill in my brows, nice and thin. And the pencil I'm using is the Milani Precision Brow in Caramel. Now we're gonna go in with foundation and I'm actually gonna mix two foundations, Too Faced Born This Way Matte and then my Giorgio Armani. I just like to make it a little thinner, but I feel like the weird thing about supermodel skin is that they normally already have pretty perfect skin, so you don't want a ton of full coverage, but you still want to look matte since we're going for the 90s. So I'm trying to work a little vibe here. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply some concealer on the lids just to cancel out the discoloration and then Pop a little bit of bronzer right here in the crease. I feel like the 90s supermodels didn't really use a lot of like eye makeup high up. It was more kept on the lid. So that's kind of what we're gonna recreate here. Then I'm gonna take this new palette from Dose of Colors. I was actually really, really excited to try this one out. It's called the Smoky Soiree. This is like the perfect chocolatey brown smoky color for a little 90s vibe. So I'm gonna pick that up on a Sigma E25 and really pat it onto the lid for our perfect little smoky effect. 
Then pick up the first brush that we use with the bronzer still on it and we're gonna diffuse the edges. All right, I'm gonna pop on my lashes and then move back to the face. We're going in with the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Concealer. Again, keeping it nice and matte, but still lightweight. And I'm gonna use this to contour just because I want to snatch my face up a little bit. But I definitely think like bronzer and contour was a little bit more optional in the 90s. It's coming together, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and set this face, get it super matte. I know I still have a little glow. That's because I had hyaluronic acid on earlier, but um, this is Laura Mercier's new setting powder, their new shade called Honey. So I wanted to try it out because it's supposed to be for medium um, olive skin tones. So I'm very excited. And we're kind of going for that matte all over look today. So I think I'm just going to press into the skin with the powder puff and what they told us to do is pick up the product from the cap like get the product in the cap pick it up on the powder puff and then like make a little taco and rub it together to get the powder like set into the puff and then you just go in and press into the skin Ooh. okay we like it we like it Ooh, that is really pretty I actually really love the look of this because I feel like it's very like blurring and smoothing. It mattified my face and kind of like blurred everything out, but I still feel like I look alive. You know what I mean? I don't look like too matte. It has just the slightest bit of radiance. Really, really pretty on the skin. All right, I'm just going to do a little bit of contour. I'm actually using a bronzing powder. I cannot get enough of this stuff lately. It's MAC Totally Topless Radiant Matte Bronzing Powder. Okay, come on, model cheekbones. Yes. Do you like my hair, by the way? It's very Abraham Lincoln, isn't it? <laughs> I'm gonna add on a little bit of this e.l.f. blush. This is always rosy. Right onto the apples of the cheeks. I feel like these shades are very 90s. And we're not doing highlight today because I wanna keep it as soft and matte as possible. So I'm just gonna finish off the bottom lash line with a little bit of that bronzer and the same dose of colors eyeshadow just to smoke it out and even things out. And a little bit of the NARS High Pigment Longwear Eyeliner in Last Frontier. I'm just gonna line the waterline with this. And also add on a little bit of my Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift Mascara. Ooh, she is smoky. Do we like the smoky? Okay, I'm gonna do a little beauty mark because I just feel like that was so iconic. Like we, ha we, you know, we can't not do it. My mom actually has a mole like right here as well. So that always reminds me of her. So I'm just gonna use the same eyeshadow palette. I always feel like powder is a lot easier to create little beauty marks or moles uh, for me. So I use powder and a little angled brush. I'm gonna dip right back into this brown. And I already have a pimple right here. So might as well make that a little beauty mark, right? Blend it in. It's gonna be pretty faint, but I want it to look natural. So for the lips, we're obviously gonna do that iconic, you know, 90s nude. I feel like it's almost like a mauve rosy nude with a little brown, like a little sprinkle of brown thrown in there. So I'm gonna start off with MAC Cork Lip Pencil. And then we're gonna take MAC Roll and do the lips. This is like the perfect little 90s nude. That's what I'm coining it. <laughs> okay, vibe. Why am I literally obsessed with this look? Like, is this gonna be like the new vibe for me? Okay, wow. Honestly, this hair and makeup is literally a vibe. All right, so now we're gonna use the Shine Flash spray. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna spray it onto my brush. And we're just gonna comb, baby. This spray is super lightweight, so you can definitely layer it on. And it's gonna give a nice shine. Ow! Ow! I literally you thought this bag <laughs> My freaking hair! I'm just kidding. This spray is really great for taming flyaways. I like to spray it very um, finely away from the hair and it literally brings the hair to life. And this is like the perfect finishing touch, you know, when you want that extra sparkle for like a red carpet moment or like a super glammed out moment or even at home if you want to just, you know, look like a little IG baddie or something and just have your hair look popping, literally. Wow, it honestly looks so good. Who is she? Literally, what's her name? I feel like I'm a um, Naomi right now. Ooh, Campbell? Kinda, yeah. She's like my spirit animal, you know? I love it. I really like that the spray is super lightweight, so even if you need to go back and kind of get some more flyaways, yeah. spray some more on the brush, 
we're just gonna spray a little bit up here and a little bit on the bang. And that 90s supermodel look always had like hair just kind of going away from the face. Like if you had a natural fan on you all the time. Okay, who is she? This is like my most 90s supermodel. Yes, yes, who is she? Clueless, Naomi Campbell, but like life-size version? <laughs> Guys, this is the completed transformation. I feel like it actually turned out so good. I feel like we have the full 90s vibe now. You know, these big voluminous supermodel bombshell waves. My outfit is so 90s. I actually got this from Storettes like probably two years ago, but it's giving me very like clueless vibes. And then I added on this little chain belt that is actually from Revolve. And then, oh my God, a little handbag. As if. I only date college boys, are you kidding me? If you could name that movie, I literally am your best friend forever. Comment down below. Okay, I just wanted to throw together one more look. Um, this is kind of like, this reminds me, the shirt reminds me of like Sex and the City, the naked shirt, but like in a more like casual, like I could wear this to brunch kind of vibe. You know what I mean? Well, all this is actually vintage. <laughs> so the top I got from Reformation Vintage, the bralette sort of situation I got from Sorority Vintage. The jeans I got from an Instagram account, Denim by Orly, and then my shoes, <laughs> are from ASOS and they're so cute. They're like these little kitten heels with a square toe. All right guys, thanks for watching this transformation. I hope you enjoyed it and live out your best supermodel 90s iconic dreams. Um, thank you to Redkin for working with me. Thanks to Edson for coming and just, you know, just doing his magic on my hair. As if. <laughs>